Hi everyone, today we are going to see about client side load balancing ribbon and spring cloud. Okay, the first step now I am going to download the Gradle project from Spring Initializer web page. So here I choose the Gradle project with Java and Spring Boot version 1.5.9 and then I given the group ID and the artifact name. So the group name I given com.talktoamrethran.projects and then artifact name I given load balancer iPhone web. We need to write a HTTP endpoint so I added the Spring Boot shorter web dependency. Click the generate project button. The project is download. After download the project, extract the zip file. Copy the path and import the Gradle project into your Eclipse. Copy this path. Import the Gradle project into your Eclipse. Use existing Gradle project option to import it. Provide the project root directory here. Click next, next and finish. Okay. So, look at here. The project is imported successfully into your Eclipse. Go to the build.gradle file. And then here, make sure the Spring Boot shorter web dependency is added or not. And then, now I am going to write a simple REST controller. It returns the string in the response so I added that to rest control annotation here now I am going to define a method before that I need to define uh, the variable put server dot put so I am writing a rest endpoint right in that rest endpoint I am going to return the server put so that's why we can understand the load balancing which port number the request is coming okay so I will show you that in the demo so here I am writing a request mapping and then I declare the variable port the port variable that returns the server dot port the request mapping the URI I defined a allow bold and then the method is a get method now I am defining a method public string and then the method name is allow world it returns the simple string the response is coming from particular port number like that I am going to return the response so look at here response from allow world application and the server port is that server dot port so while you load balancing the request I mean the response is coming from the different number of uh, I mean a uh, different port number so we can identify by using this port number also I am defining a simple request mapping that refresh the client applications from the load balancer so it's a just a ohm API like it returns the ok that's all so here we return the load balancer web application with the two simple rest endpoints. Now I am going to take a build of this application. I copy the project location, go to the command prompt and then take a build by using the command gradle clean build. It will make a executable jar file of your application. Okay, so the gradle tasks are running now. Compile test java test so the test will take few seconds to take a build ok build is successful now go to the build and lips directory run the jar file before that I want to copy that jar file into the separate port because I am going to run this application in different port I mean going to run the three same application going to run in three port okay so I just copy the path this is the jar file we generated I just copy the path I mean just copy the jar file and place it into the another one directory I think the path is copied okay wait we need to 
paste the jar file okay so i copy the path from the build and lifts directory and place it into the different directory because we need to run the three instance of the same application in different port so i copy the path i mean i copy the jar file in different path now i am going to run the jar file in custom port 9090 likewise i am going to create two more instance okay so look at here the web application has started on the 9090 port the same application i am going to run the different another one instance the port number is 9091 okay now the same application as running on two different ports 9090 and 9091 the same application i am going to start another one instance 9092 the next step we are going to write here load balancer application with the ribbon so it will provide the response in the any one of this instance okay so we can see look at here the tomcat has started on the 90 9091 and the 9092 also okay so now i am going to hit the api allo world in the web browser and then make sure the application is working fine okay so go to the web browser and hit the url allo world it returns the server dot port from the 9090 and then change the port number 9090 to 9091 it returns the response from the 9091 port and then it 9092 so we run the multiple instances with the different port number okay now i am going to download the load balancer application with the ribbon cloud so it is used to do the client side load balancing okay so the project is downloaded extract the project and import the gradle project into your eclipse okay go to the load balancer app application copy the path and import the project into your eclipse this is the load balancer application import use existing gradle project option to import it provide the project root directory here click next next and dependencies will download after the download click finish okay so the gradle project is imported successfully into your eclipse the load balancer app okay look at this now go to the build.gradle file and then make sure the ribbon dependency is added or not okay it is added here spring cloud starter ribbon dependency and then the dependency management for the spring cloud version is also added and then the spring cloud version we are using hvr dot release for the spring boot version 1.5.9 release okay now go to the application dot properties file i am going to use the yaml property so i just rename uh, rename the application dot properties into application dot yaml here i am going to load balance the client application here i provided the name load balancer hyphen web i just want to make the eureka load balancing as false so i added the ribbon eureka enabled as false and then we need to provide the list of servers so we run the multiple instances like 9090 9091 9092 9092 so that those three port number i mean those three instances we need to provide here the list of servers okay and also we need to provide the server refresh interval the server list refresh interval so here i am providing the 20000 milliseconds 20000 or 2000 milliseconds okay i like to provide 2000 milliseconds 
so every 2000 milliseconds it will refresh the list of servers so here i provided the load balancer name as load balancer iphone web so here this is the main spring boot application class file of the load balancer application now i am going to create a configuration class it's a client app configuration this client app configuration class file is used to define the i mean to all the client application details and then it will make a ping and also it will define is used to define the load balancing strategy and everything so here we need to auto wire the i client config class this i client config class is used to hold the client application information and then we need to define a i ping bin this i ping bin is used to ping the list of servers url we provided in the application.yaml file okay this is the i ping url sorry i ping used to ping the list of server url and then we need to create a bin for i rule this i rule is used to define the load balancing strategy of your application so so far we created the client app configuration class file that contains the i client config i ping and then the load balancer strategic rule so here now i am going to add the ribbon client annotation for this ribbon client annotation we need to provide the client i mean ribbon name and then the configuration class there is load balancer ribbon name what we provided in the yaml file is load balancer web so that is the name we need to provide in the ribbon client and then the configuration class the configuration class we define client app configuration so this is the client app configuration class file we need to provide so what will happen when you start the spring boot application the ribbon client will create a load balancer for the list of servers we provided in the application.yaml file with the name of load balancer web okay now i am going to write a simple rest endpoint that will returns the response from the multiple instances are running okay so i am going to use the rest template object to call the a allow old apis from the instances we running on the different port here i define the bin for rest template object this rest template object should be load balancer so i am going to add the at load balance annotation for this rest template bin object okay so here i added the at load balanced annotation is added so then this rest template object is becomes a load balanced bin to call the application i mean to call the apis from the other instances now i am going to auto wire the rest template object because i am going to call the allow bold apis by using the rest template so i i define the rest template i mean i auto wire the rest template object now i am going to define a simple request mapping that is my app this my app api will call the any one of the allow bold instance and then it will return the response to client side okay so here i am defining the request mapping as my app and then the method i am defining public string and then the my app this request mapping i mean this api will call the any one of the client application that we are running the two or three instances right any one of, it will call the any one of the instance and then it will return the response so i am using the rest template dot get for object for this get for object we need to provide the url of the instance http colon slash slash instead of ip address we need to provide the ribbon client name the ribbon client name we use load balancer iphone web and then the slash and then the context path this is the allow world this is the api so instead of the uh, domain name and then our ip address we need to use the ribbon client so the ribbon client configuration will take the server from the application.yaml file 
so this is the ribbon client load balancer name and then this is the client app configuration we used to make a ribbon load balancing by ribbon okay so this is the list of servers and then this is the main spring boot application class file so everything we created i think so and then this is the application.yaml file in the application.yaml file i am going to define a custom port the server.port i am using 888 so this ribbon application is running on the port double eight double eight so it will call the allow world api from any one of the instance and then it will return the result okay now i am going to create a executable jar file for load balancer application gradle clean build by using this command create a executable jar file okay so the build is running now okay compile test java all the gradle tasks are running now if the test is paused we can run the jar file under the build and lips directory it's taking time okay the build is successful now now go to the build and lips directory run the jar file by using the command java hyphen jar okay App uh, application is started on the tomcat port double eight double eight okay you can see the tomcat initialized port with the port double eight double eight and then uh, the url mapping everything in the console log so look at here the tomcat is started on the port double eight double eight now i am going to hit the my app api and then it will return the response from any one of the instances we are running in the allow world app okay this is the load balancer web it is running on the three different port so now i am going to call that api my app it will return the response from any one of the port so now i am going to call the my app api it load balancing now it will return the response from any one of the server so this is the output you can see so look at here response from all over the application and the server port is 9091 okay so you can see the information in the log so there is three instances are running 9090 9091 we received the response from the 9091 instance and then this is the 9092 instance okay so you can see the list of servers we configured in the load balancer and then the active connections successive connections and the failure connections everything you can see in the load balancer application console log the, where the first when the first connection is made if the success, connection is success or failure total blackouts against everything you can see in the load balancer application log file so now i am meeting the my app api frequently it returns the response from instances 9090909192 okay 909192 randomly it's it returns the response from any one of the instances so 9090909092 so this is the way we can do the client side load balancing applications by using the spring cloud thank you for watching this video please subscribe my channel to get more video alerts thank you